hello, welcome to Blender Time. Thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can easily create these objects. Along the way, you will learn some useful modeling techniques. I will guide and show you the process step by step. Let's begin. On number pad, press 1 for front view. Select cube. Press X. Delete. Shift A. Mesh. Circle. At bottom left. Click on this tab to open it. Click on vertices. Key in 16. Enter. Click on tab to close it. Tab into edit mode. Make sure you are still in front view. Click on select tab. All. Press R. 90. Enter. On number pad press 3 for right view. Press B. This activates box select. Press middle mouse button. Drag. Release mouse button. This deselect the bottom half. Press 1 for front view. At top of the screen. Click on this icon. Choose 3D cursor. Go to mesh. Transform. Choose shear. Press 1. Enter. This shear the selected vertices by one unit. Press A to select all. Press E for extrude. Press X to constrain to the X axis. Drag until about here. Left click to confirm. Click on this icon. Change the pivot point to median point. Make sure all these vertices are selected. Press S for scale. Press 0. Press X. Enter. I rotate the view to show you the result. Let's continue. Press 1 for front view. Press A to select all. Click on mesh tab. Choose symmetrize. Click on tab. Click on direction. Choose positive X to negative X. Left click on screen. I rotate the view to show you the object. Now hold Alt key. Left click here to select all these vertices. Press 1 for front view. Press E for extrude. Drag the mouse up. Press the middle mouse button once and let go. This constrain the movement to the axis you are dragging. Drag until about here. Left click. Now we flatten these vertices. Press S. Press 0. Press Z as in zebra. Enter. I rotate the view to show what we have achieved so far. Now I will add simple detail to this object. Press 1 for front view. I go to shading and change to a bright matte cap to show you the edges better. Press Ctrl R. Left click. Press E. Press F once or twice until the loop is straight. Drag until here. Left click. Press Ctrl B. Drag. Left click. Press I for inset. Hold shift. Drag a bit. Left click. Holding shift when dragging gives finer control. Rotate the view slightly. Press E. Right click. This extrude the selected faces without moving them. Click on mesh tab. Transform. Choose shrink fatten. Note the shortcut is Alt S. Hold shift and drag. Left click. Again. Press E. Right click. Press Alt S. Hold Shift and drag. Left click. Now press I for inset. Hold Shift. Drag in a bit. Left click. We have created a simple detail with holding edges. These holding edges are necessary when we add the subdivision surface modifier later. Now we will add holding edges to the middle of the object. Press 1, for front view. Press Ctrl R. Left click. Press E. Press F once or twice until the loop is even with the middle vertices. Drag till here. Left click. 
Now we repeat the operation at this side. Press Ctrl R. Left click. Press E. Press F once or twice. Drag. Left click. One last time. Ctrl R. Left click. E. Press F once or twice. Drag. Left click. Tab into object mode. Select the object. Right click. Choose shade smooth. Click the modifier icon. Add modifier. Subdivision surface. Click on view. Key in 2. Enter. I go to shading. Matte cap. Choose a reflective matte cap to show the shading better. This is a custom matte cap. If you need help on how to add matte cap into Blender, I have a video showing how to do that. Now I rotate the view. As you can see the shading is very nice. The T-joint object is complete. Now we will make the cross-joint object. I change to another matte cap so we can see the edges better. Press 1 for front view. In object mode. Select the object. Press Shift D. Drag right. Press middle mouse button. Left click. This duplicates the object and move it to one side. Tab into edit mode. Press A to select all. Click the Mesh tab. Choose Symmetrize. Click on Bottom tab. Click Direction. Choose plus Z to minus Z. Left click on the screen to deselect. Note that this is an all quad mesh. I tab into Object mode. The two objects are now done. Let's change to another more reflective matte cap. Rotate the view to check the shading. That conclude our lesson today. I hope you have learned something from this video that can help you in your work. If you want more tutorials like this, just click the like and the subscribe button. This shows me the tutorials are actually helping people, and I'll be happy to make more. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Happy blending.